what the fuck is ghost? Border crossing into Turkey went smooth. The first thing checked was the Covid Green Certificate. Fighting the pandemic is being taken very seriously in this country. Next, the documents got checked and motor bikes assigned to each rider in the system. If you enter Turkey with a vehicle, you must leave the country with the exact same one. Don't ask us what happens if you don't. The license plate numbers were also verified. As the documents were all in order, we passed all the border checks and hit the road. It's as if the smell has changed once we had switched countries. Turkey smells of pine and barbecue. But we didn't get the opportunity to take a deep breath in, and the rain welcomed us into our new destination. Pretty soon we found out that Turkish roads don't get along very well with our tires on rainy weather. But we are here now, so we might as well make the most of it. By the time we had arrived at our hotel in Vize, it had already got dark. A traditional Turkish meal in the courtyard of some locals degenerated into a local drinks competition. The Turkish Yeniraki versus the Transylvanian Palinka led to an undisputed champion. Yeniraki is the traditional Turkish drink and is made with grapes and anish. The Turks usually combine it with water to dilute the alcohol and serve it with cheese and melon. Spending the evening with locals drinking and chatting was a fabulous experience. We used the opportunity to learn some necessary Turkish words firsthand and to understand a little bit of their traditions. The first impact on Turkey was positive. It is not usual for a hotel owner to leave his reception desk so he can take you, his client, on his own quad bike to the city center to an ADM machine. But it happened to us. Turkish hospitality, as we will later find out, goes beyond anything we've ever experienced so far in our travels. With all batteries charged, we started off again, riding under a clear blue sky towards Asian land. We crossed Bosphorus Strait using the Premier's Bridge, Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge is the first in the world with eight highway lanes and two lanes for rail traffic, located on the same level. At 59 meters wide, the suspension bridge is the widest of its kind in the world, and the main opening of 1408 meters makes it one of the longest suspended railway tracks in the world. The bridge took two years and three months to be built, and it is accessed by approximately 135,000 vehicles in each direction every day. The first stop on Asian soil was in Chile. A small fishing town in a natural fairy tale setting. Chile presents not only fantastic views, but also the largest lighthouse in Turkey, dating back to the Ottoman period. At the foot of the lighthouse, 
A cool garden is the perfect place to enjoy a tea and admire the superb panorama. If you want more action though, the old port is the favorite place to enjoy fresh fish cooked using traditional methods. A walk in the fish market is invigorating and the smell of freshly fried fish is enticing. No wonder that the place is so crowded late in the afternoon. People flock here to watch the sunset while having the best fried fish sandwich with onions and lemons you could ever eat. Piazza del Pește. Am vizitat zona cu farul, iar acum suntem lângă cetatea Șile, vechea cetate Șile, în fața care ai o piață de pește, iar acesta este templul cu care își întâmplă o aspeție aici. Costă 25 ei 2 euro jumate. Mare brânză. Dai un sandwich foarte gustos, trăgător, sănătos, bineînțeles, pește. Șoferule, de ce claxonezi? De ce claxonezi? The Black Sea coast of Turkey is renowned for the road between Amastra and Sinop, a coastline road with magnificent viewpoints and hundreds of wider or narrower turns, lighthouses, bays and waves. We have been dreaming of getting there for such a long time and we are so close. Meanwhile, the Black Sea is revealing its surprises little by little. A popular place to take snapshots and swim is in the Kefken. The road is a pleasure, tight and bended, with sections of pavement, gravel or asphalt. The road is bordered by hazelnut and fig orchards. A short section of dirt road takes you to the seafront. The pink rocks stand tall, having as a background the immensity of the Black Sea and the infinite sky above. The area has been used as a stone quarry since ancient times. The stone was extracted in a rectangular shape and sent by way of sea to Istanbul and often used in Ottoman architecture. Today the pink rocks attract travelers in love with nature, beach, swimming and relaxation. The pink color of the rocks is emphasized by the sunlight, making the area one of the favorite spots for photography enthusiasts. The Black Sea coastline road often makes its way under the mountain. There are so many tunnels that you will end up losing count of them all. If you enjoy riding through tunnels, it will be your world. But if you are claustrophobic and you don't like the feeling, it will be your cure. Rehearsal is the mother of learning, and here you will ride through tunnels over and over and over again. There is no other way. From Amastra to Doganyurt, Dark clouds announce the upcoming storm. The sky is grim enough to make the day seem shorter. There's rain behind, rain ahead and dark clouds everywhere. And if you see a slippery road sign in Turkey, you'd better believe it. A bituminous emulsion covered with crushed stones and areas where the stone was removed in time by traffic makes you feel on rainy weather that you are at a figure skating competition. And there are so many twists and turns that at the end of the day you're going to feel like you're leaning even while you're asleep. Mysterious clouds darken the horizon. The wind blows hard and the waves break with a resounding noise on the shore. The road glows in front of your headlights as if you were on ice and pulling the throttle gives you the exact same feeling. 
you slow down, evenly accelerate and pray that those coming from the opposite direction will keep on their own lane. Over 60% of Turkish drivers tend to drive on the oncoming traffic, both in curves and on a straight road. This time, however, the road is narrow and the low visibility leaves no room for error. Heavy flooding hit the Black Sea shoreline this summer and we were moved seeing the damage the power of the sea has done here. Although many efforts were made to clear the area and ease traffic, the ride along collapsed bridges, broken roads, mud, logs and dead vegetation leaves a strong impression on you. Searching for accommodation, we were offered to spend the night on a couch in a barber shop. Although the experience sounded like an Asia Express adventure, we preferred to ride for another hour and enjoy a good night's sleep. We are this close to the main highlight of our journey, the D915, Beibert of Yolu, voted the most dangerous road in the world. <laughs> 